Okay. So to start everything off, we're going to talk about Life Jennings, a hidden R&B legend. He slowly grew to fame with his popular album Life uh, 286-192. With an outstanding, with outstanding songs, right? With outstanding songs that include "Must Be Nice," I think "Must Be Nice" and the hypo- hypothetically are his two are his two major songs from that album. Cause "Must Be Nice" is him being locked up and he's about to be released, and he explains, "Well, it must be nice that you are able to feel this way, or that you are able to experience this." And the guy keeps saying, I don't want to see you back here. Implying that if you come back here, it won't be good for you. Because you don't need to be here. You have a future upon you. Which I think him saying that is a good thing. Because life is very talented to me. Right? Like, he's very talented. So, I'm like, okay. Well, you don't want to mess this up. Because you're going to probably be free. I think Life, the Life album, 268-192, I think it kind of does explain that it must be nice to have somebody always by your side and to always be able to be close to somebody and always trust somebody and to trust people around you. And track five, well, I'm going to go hypothetically, but hypothetically is the seventh song on this album. And he kind of just says, hey, if... I happen to cheat. Would that be? Would you? Would that be wrong? Or how would you react? She says, "Well, if I end up being pregnant, how would you react?" And it's not by you, even though you signed the papers. It's legally yours, or you raised it. It's technically yours, but by DNA, it's not yours. Which I think is very deep to understand, because a lot of people do get cheated on. So I think him saying that would be good. However, in the middle of these two songs, right? So hypothetically, with the child, and then let's be nice as having someone that loves you and stuff like that, and it wants to be with you and experience and wants to experience everything with you. I think that opens it up for she and got kids, and so the in in the song he explains kids as being as being innocent. And if they get attached to him and they have, and him and the woman have kids, would it be wrong for him to love his own flesh and blood over his stepkids? Which I, which is up for debate, depending on how you feel about that situation. However, while these, well, one of, well two of these songs are on another album that is called I Still Believe. The first song, which is track 13. If I never see tomorrow, he kind of confesses. Well, so that's the perspective of a relationship. If I'm still alive, if I still believe the album, it's an original and then it's an expansive. You know, an expansive version, he says, if I'm still, if tomorrow doesn't come, where he tries to put all of his grievances and stuff that he wanted to say. When he was alive, he puts it into a song and they play it. And he goes, I'm apologizing for the TV from my aunt's TV that I broke in, in 1993 and if my kids and if my kids were you no know, they will always be loved and he just gets and he says stuff like that and, I, and it's it, and it's a very genuine song and then he tells us to tell my mother if I don't maybe tomorrow then you want to be able to and just tell the mother of a show that it wasn't his intention to leave or hurt her in any way physically emotionally or internally so he doesn't want it to be any distribution when he dies and they're at peace well they're at peace now but he wants them to be at peace overall but he wants to if he could if he was able to redo it he would redo it However, later in another album, or in the same album, it's called Statistics, where he breaks down the chances of getting a man. He says 
he says he wants to get you to reach that 90%, what, 90%, which I think he means 10, but he says 90%, where there's a lot of fish in the, it's a lot of fish in the ocean, men and women's a lot of fish in the ocean, and not every man, um, and men have egos, some men have everything together, some don't have everything together, and some don't have this, but some have it together, some do, some don't, which I think is a good way to put it. But he breaks it down in like 20%, 30%, 50%, and 10%. But he wants to break it in like to more of a statistic class kind of feel. So we get him saying 25% of men are crazy. And he's a, the other 20 are faithful. Which might be true because at a young, very young age. He says 10%. I'm sorry. He says 10%. Chance of finding your man, which it's a small number, but it's it takes time. People don't mature the same way you would mature. So if you're if you're looking at somebody, please give them time to mature. Because it doesn't happen overnight, and it sometimes does not happen when you want it to. So people say, yeah, well, we were meant to be, but it just wasn't the time. Yeah, so you haven't reached a maturity level together, but but y'all are almost there, and but it just. I would be perfect if somebody matured or it was a better situation. And he says, don't waste time. If you want to find somebody, find somebody. Okay, I forgot I had to give it a rating. The rating for Must Be Nice is a 8.2. The, the She Got Kids, 8.2. Hypothetically seven because I don't I don't condone cheating. If I never, if tomorrow never comes, a solid a solid nine. I do like that more. And statistics I love. So that's just a ten out of ten for me.